the, the, the name Randall reminds me. Randall Tex Cobb. Another. Uh, you, you, you've had an interesting career. There's a lot of yeah. highlights. You got Cooney. You got the Tyson thing. But in between, you ended Howard Cosell's career as an announcer. I love. No, I didn't. Randy Cobb. Did. Well, Randy. <laughs> so Randall Tex Cobb was this big sort of biker looking oh. guy, white guy. Yeah. Uh, he's he's in the movie Raising Arizona. He yeah. did a lot. Of, he did a lot of movies and acting and stuff. But he's just this yeah. big brute looking guy. He Looks like a biker. He didn't care. He didn't care. <laughs> and he fights you, and you basically destroy him. I mean, oh no, I you know I beat him up. I beat him up, but but you know what I did, and, and God witnessed this. I told him, I said, don't take no more punches, man. You right. You, you, you almost saying to him, you got to stop. You got to stop. He didn't, and Cosell. I'm going to knock your black ass out. Is that what he well, said? Yeah. Well, that's he, the wrong thing to say. He, he said black ass Yeah, out. that's the wrong thing to say. Well, <laughs> I, 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 I'm not black. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm brown, man. I'm brown. <laughs> You're brown ass out. I, but uh, so, so, so uh, Cosell's point was, it was a money thing. He was kind of a celebrity for other reasons. He, he didn't belong in a ring with you. Right. And it, Cosell was like going, this. This is the most sickening thing I've ever seen. I'm not. I'm well, done. I'm done with. He thought it was just a money thing. Publicity uh, hated it. He quit. He quit. How can you, you quit a million Cosell. dollar job? I know. What's wrong with him? What's the matter with him? Hey, you, well, he's dead now, so. Yeah, you made <laughs> Cosell quit boxing. God, man, that, but listen, Cobb did. He, Cobb did. Randall but takes take, Cobb. Oh, yeah. he can't take those punches <laughs> like that anymore. This is a beating <laughs> like I've never seen. He had such a weird voice, right? That voice was Cosell, like, sure. But you know what? Howard Cosell, at the end of the day, he was a great guy. Oh, yeah. He now, was I was going to say, your relationship with him, because yeah. him and Ali had that legendary relationship yeah. going back and forth. I used to come down to Easton, man. Easton. Yeah. Easton. Easton. Nobody go to Easton. No, no. <laughs> that is, that was that with the legendary bat, the Easton Bats? Is, no, it's it. in Bethlehem. Easton Bats is in Bethlehem. Oh, okay. But, you know, that's just the beginning of it. They just go, okay, they yeah, got you know. Bethlehem and stuff. All blue collar, real blue yeah. collar stuff. Blue and orange, green. They don't know what color they are. <laughs> <laughs> and, Cosell, and Cosell came down to Easton to check you out. He did, you know, he, he came to my functions when I raised money. I'll do a oh, lot of nice. fundraiser for kids and stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah. And they, you know, they show up and stuff now like that's that. that's how we, I want to get your opinion on this because, you know, being African-American, you know, the way he left, the way he left Monday Night Football, do you remember that? Is he called yeah. that, he called Alvin Garrett, he says, look at that little monkey go, well, yeah. a, a black uh, wide receiver. Do you think he well, was unfairly acute, I mean, you know, taken away from that? I don't, think, I don't know if he said, look at that little monkey go, he's just like a little monkey or something. Yeah, I mean, well, so, you know, whatever he said, you know, it didn't. Listen, I was young. It didn't bother me. Didn't bother you. Damn, what you that, but that's me? big of you to say, man. I mean, you know? it was unfair that they sort of fired him because it was they, more like a thing of affection. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Crazy. You get you gonna get a couple of crazy people out there anyway. Gonna go against whatever you say or whatever you do. You know, like that's great that you defend you, him for that. That's no, awesome. Oh yeah. But that's the way it is. You, yeah. Sometimes you say things, do things you don't really want to do. You Absolutely. Apologize. Like look no one's they, perfect. Look no. what they did to me. They killed me. Yeah. When I said Marciano couldn't carry my jock strap. Yeah. Yeah, right. That killed me. You know, it was just a slang. Everybody you're a competitor. Doing you're that. you're you a know? fighter. I know. I mean, Man. that's how fighting should be, you and know? I, and I said, damn, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to, man. If I could bring him back to life, bring him back. I know. You know it's know like, like I yeah, know, yeah, And yeah. you're right, because it's like. It's made, almost like you murdered him or something. The, 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 I didn't do it. Of course they, not. They, they, they made it sound like you murdered Jesus Christ after that. Yeah. You know, almost, like, well, that was I, the Romans and the Jews. <laughs> but, uh, no, so you. Uh, so, so. He went into it. What about, what, what about political correctness now? Like, you say, you know, you can't hit nobody in football. You can't say the wrong thing. Do you do Twitter, social media? Do you do no, any I don't stuff? do that. My wife gets on there every now and then. She has, cause she has a club and stuff like that. Oh, they she does. Us. Okay, she, she gets on there. So I don't go on that stuff, you know. And no, so you're better off. I man. don't want people. That, I don't want to have read people saying Larry Holmes ain't this, ain't that. You it's know? the worst, yeah. man. The yeah. Twitter people, people are, are just bullies. It sucks. Yeah. They're just. I know I'm a great guy, and they trying to tell me I'm not. Yeah, now you I, know it. I, I, know I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> now, were you? You don't seem like again when people think of boxers, they think of angry guys. You you don't see have any anger at all to me. I mean, like. Were you, were you, as a young man, did you have a lot of anger? You just were always a fun-loving guy who just could fight. I never thought I'd be here yeah, today. Absolutely. I'm 70, Neither did we, I'm 70 years old. <laughs> God bless you. And I'm living the life of the dream. Yeah. You know? I, I mean, mean, you seem happy. Oh, I got a beautiful wife, beautiful family. Which is great. My kids. Yeah. That's the most yeah. important thing. Now, but, how involved with the community are you still? You still do a lot I in still, these things? I still do a lot, but, you know, I, I'm tired of the city because the city... They pick and choose what who they're oh, going to yeah. try to help. Right. And um, I know bureaucratic like stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah politics. Yeah. Are you are you involved with young boxers? Like people trying no, to come I, up? I, I just sold my gym. I just sold my okay. gym. You know, said I'm not going to do it because the, first of all, you got to get the kids that want to fight. 
right. in a fight. Like my grandson, he wants to fight. He's yeah, but 27 yeah. years old, and he wants to fight. He pop up. Let me train it because I got a gym in my yard. And he's 21. Oh, well. Yeah, and uh, I said, well, you go use the gym. Go ahead. And I hired a guy to watch him and stuff like that. But, yeah, but I mean, see, that's an interesting problem for you because here's a, he's your grandson. He's got yeah. more opportunities than you did. Are, do, do you want him to fight? Probably not, right? No, no I don't want him to fight. I'm no. Nobody, but he— they told me not to do it. Yeah, so yeah. I can't tell him. not But to again, do it. you were you were struggling to feed your family. You were on welfare. He's got maybe you know he should go to, you know, be be like you Let know him be on welfare for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll make you fight. Yeah, but no, you know, no, definitely. But you know, but I, I president he gonna cut welfare off. So where you gonna be at then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Now what do you think of Trump? What do you think of the president? I now, don't. You, I don't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you, you worked. I think the Tyson fight was at Trump, right? You did uh, yeah, a lot of work for and him. and I did a lot of stuff down there. But, you know, one one day I went down to Atlantic City. I went to Atlantic City. Right. And I says, I seen Donald standing there. I said, hey, Donald, how you doing? He looked at me like this. Right. He didn't remember well, yeah. He didn't just, remember me. He just blew you off. I wanted to punch him in his nose. When, 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 <laughs> I was, when was that? that? When, when that was, was that? That was about a year ago. About a year well, ago, yeah, he was just he was president. He, he was just going into president. Just become he, okay, so a couple yeah. years ago, and yeah. really he snubbed you. Yeah, I don't, I don't fought down there. And brought many people down. Oh there. my god, god. You made a, he made a lot of money in boxing. He made yeah. a ton of money on you. Yeah. And you know who? I'm gonna tell you something else, man. Who loves this man and will fight you? To, you say negative things about him. Don King. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm wow. sure. Don loves me. Oh, I love the liar. He didn't say that. He didn't mean it that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Don King, mm. well, Don King is crazy, man. <laughs> I know it. I, I worked with him for 20 years. Don but, King, you know, yeah. but, yeah, but uh, Tyson beat him up, right? Tyson beat him up outside the Beverly Hills Hotel, supposedly. He didn't do a good job. He didn't do a good job. <laughs> well, you know, we're talking about...